Anshu Sharma on the phone line. She's going to give us all those details. Anshu. That's the government deal being passed uh, on the coal linkage uh, policy meant for the unregulated sector. We understand from our sources that the coal ministry officials uh, uh, met uh, cabinet secretary to finalize the details of the coal linkage policy. Uh, advisor SBI Caps has submitted its final report. Remember, uh, the unregulated sector will see coal linkage auction uh, with a methodology of ascending market clearing approach, which is similar to what we've seen in the spectrum auction. Uh, we also understand from the sources that this renewal of uh, coal linkage uh, will stop uh, for the companies uh, post this uh, coal linkage policy uh, is in place. Uh, we also understand that the first uh, coal linkage auction is expected sometime before March 2016 as per the demand requirement at that point in time. The government is also mulling coal linkage uh, route for PSUs and state-run companies. Uh, there will be a, another set of discussion to see whether competitive bidding uh, or route should be taken or allotment uh, basis should be taken for coal linkage supply to the PSUs. Uh, we also understand uh, that the Inter-Ministerial Committee has recommended that nomination basis uh, should be utilized for allotment of coal linkage uh, to urea industry as uh, as the input cost of coal is a pass-through under the new urea policy. And if there is any competitive bidding for coal linkage, the subsidy burden will be for the government. So we'll have to see how soon the government is going to get a cabinet nod on this. Back to you. All right, Anshu. Thanks so much for joining.